subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, Financials. So let's get started. Question number 1, a company is preparing to complete a year-end close process. You need to configure the Dynamics 365 Finance General Ledger module. Which three configurations must you use? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Configure the fiscal year close parameters. B. Configure the ledger calendar for the new fiscal year. C. Set up the year and close template. D. Validate the main account type. The correct answers are, option A, and D. And, here is the explanation of the answer. Question number 2. A client has unique accounting needs that sometimes require posting definitions. You need to implement posting definitions. In which situation should you implement posting definitions? Your options are A. When financial dimensions need to default from the vendor record onto an invoice. B. When only certain dimensions are allowed to post with certain main account combinations. C. When creating multiple balanced ledger entries based on transaction types or accounts. D. When the system needs to automatically post a transaction to the account's receivable account on invoice posting. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 3. An organization is setting up a cost accounting. You need to set up fiscal calendars for Dynamics 365 Finance. What are three uses for fiscal calendars? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Standard work hours B. Financial transactions C. Fixed asset depreciation D. Budget cycles The correct answers are, option B, C, and D. Question number 4 you are configuring automatic bank reconciliation functionality for a company that has multiple bank accounts. The company wants to import their bank statements. You need to import electronic bank statements to reconcile the bank accounts. Which three actions can you perform? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Select all the bank accounts for the bank statement files and then upload all files. B. Select account reconciliation on the bank account form. C. Import bank statements from the data management workspace. D. Navigate to import statement on the bank statements page of cash and bank management. The correct answers are, option B, and D. Question number 5, a company plans to create a new allocation rule for electric utilities expenses. The allocation rule must meet the following requirements. One. Distribute overhead utility expense to each department. 2. Define how and in what proportion the source amounts must be distributed on various destination lines. You need to configure the allocation rule. Which allocation method should you use? Your options are A. Distribute the source document amount equally. B. Fixed weight. C. Equally. D. Basis. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 6, a company provides employee life insurance to all full-time employees. Employee life insurance policies are paid twice a year to the insurance company. Transactions for current employees must be recognized in the general ledger twice a month with an employee's pay. Transactions for new employees must be recognized in the general ledger based upon the employee's first pay date. You need to configure accrual schemes for the new fiscal year. Which two configurations should you use? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. For new employees, use a credit accrual scheme. In the ledger accrual, set the offset to the first day of the fiscal year. B. For current employees, use a credit accrual scheme. In the ledger accrual, set the offset to the employee's first pay date. C. For new employees, use a debit accrual scheme. In the ledger accrual, set the offset to the employee's first pay date. D for current employees, use a debit accrual scheme. In the ledger accrual, set the offset to the first day of the fiscal year. The correct answers are, 
Option B, and D. Question number 7. An organization uses Dynamics 365 Finance. Several posted journal entries contain invalid main account and dimension combinations. This leads to incorrect financial reporting. You need to prevent these invalid combinations. What should you do? Your options are A. Configure the account structure to specify which financial dimensions are valid for which main accounts. B. Train users to select the validate button in the current journal configuration so that the correct account and dimension combination is used. C. Configure financial dimension sets to limit which financial dimensions are valid for which main accounts. D. Associate the correct main accounts to that financial dimension on the financial dimension setup form. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 8. A legal entity has locations and customers in multiple states within the United States. You need to ensure that taxable customers are charged sales tax for taxable items in their delivery location. Which three settings must you configure? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. The sales tax group on the customer record. B. The terms of delivery setup. C. The item sales tax group on the item record. D. The sales reporting codes. The correct options are, option A, and B. Question number 9. You are configuring Dynamics 365 Finance. You need to implement posting definitions for all available transaction types. For which type of transactions can you implement posting definitions? Your options are A. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, bank, budget, payroll, and purchasing. B. Accounts payable, bank, budget, fixed assets, and payroll. C. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, fixed assets, payroll, and purchasing. D. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, budget, and fixed assets. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 10. A public sector company is configuring encumbrance for managing capital budgets. The finance department needs to configure posting definitions for bank transactions. You need to configure Dynamics 365 Finance for cash settlements. What should you do? Your options are A. Configure combined deposit amounts. B. Configure budget appropriations. C. Configure general ledger year and close. D. Configure advanced ledger entries. The correct answer is, option A. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.